So, Planet Hollywood has a uh, boxing card this uh, Friday night at 5.30. Sharif Bogari is on that card. Uh, he lives here in Las Vegas now. And uh, Sharif, uh, your boxing career off to a great start, 10-0. Uh, just talk about your early career, professional career. Yeah, like, it's not, it's not like, Ali, you know, by last year, they used to duck me, you know, like, I used to miss a lot of, I had, like, two, four fights last year. So now, like, we are trying to get up where we need to be, you know. Yeah, yeah. you've had a lot of fights uh, this year. You were on the uh, World's Collide card down in Prim, uh, the MMA slash boxing card. Talk about that experience and, uh, oh, and that, what you got. got that was work. a good opportunity for yeah. me because I really liked it because a lot of club was there, a lot of people were there. People saw me, you know, that was really good for me. I, I was, that was different for me because I was fighting on small cars. The people were not that many like that. But at that time, people were loud, you know, and I was excited about yeah, it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what should people know uh, about Sharif Bogari if they haven't heard about you or uh, if they're going to find out about you Friday night at Planet Hollywood? They're going to find out soon because I'm Sharif the, Sharif the Lion yeah, Bogari, you yeah. know. Yeah, with my line on the entrance, people like it, you know, a lot of people like it. So, by Friday, this Friday, people will know who Sharif is, you know. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit. You got to see this headdress that he comes in with. But uh, talk about uh, your career in life. You're, you're from Uganda. Uh, you had a big decision to make, though, in, uh, in 2007. If you could talk about that and uh, leaving your country to fight here in the U.S. permanently. Actually, I started boxing. All my life, I wanted to be a professional fighter. You know, I wanted to become a world champion. You know, all my dream we had to become a world champion to fight, to be where I am when I'm. And I'm still, I still wanna be on top. You know, just work hard. I wanna be there. Yeah, but you're a young fighter. Uh, you're not even uh, 21 years old, right? You're 20 years I'll old. I'll be 21, like three months. Three months. There you go. Celebrate, celebrating your birthday. But uh, but you you were a five-time champion in uh, in Africa. Africa right? yeah. Talk talk so, a little bit about that. And yeah, but in Africa, like in amateur, there we have some good fighters there. So I I got some experience from those African championships. You know, of those amateurs were really good. You know, some Arabs are really good. They can fight. You know, so I used to get techniques. I used to add my like. The American fighters, and I used to watch a lot of fights. And, and, and how does living in uh, Las Vegas now, how does that help you and uh, and prepare you for uh, your future uh, endeavors as a uh, professional fighter? You know, every boxer in the world dreams of coming here in Las Vegas. You know, Las Vegas, they make our boxing, I guess, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, Las Vegas, the kind of boxing, cause there's a lot of opponents, all the world champions, you know, they always come here, and it's cool for me. I learn from them, you know. Sometimes I walk with them, you know, I see them. New style they got, you know. I like, I like it here, you know. Who do you look up to as a fighter? Who is somebody that maybe uh, you you idolized growing up, or who do you look to as a fighter? Well, when I was still little, I used to like my Tyson. Yeah, yeah, I used yeah to right. Kill them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I used to, I used to kill them. It was really good fight. I used to like my Tyson, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, obviously we talked about it earlier. Come on out, Jimmy. Bring out this uh, this headdress. Go ahead and stand up, guys. This is uh, something that if you go to Friday's fight, this is one of the most unbelievable headdresses that you've ever seen and the entrance that he has with it. And Sharif, go ahead and talk about... Uh, uh, you know, Jimmy, you said this line actually killed seven people? Yes. Sure. Brother from Africa? Yeah. Uh, it did uh, kill about seven people. That didn't want to lie and kill somebody. The group take it out, you know, they, they yeah. have to kill it. They have to kill it. And Sharif, where did you uh, come up with this? And and, uh, and your entrance, we have the video, we're showing it, uh, it is is amazing. Talk about that and how you uh, how you came up with that. Actually, for you, for me, back home, we used to grow, like where I grew up, we had a lot of lions, you know. Of course. Yeah, yeah. so when I came here, when Jimmy saw my style, he said, man, you felt like a lion, style like that. Yeah. So I told him, man, we got some lions back home. So Jimmy and Raphael, they ordered some of the lions back home, you know. I think you yeah. stretch the story, and I think you say you actually killed the lion with your right hand, right? That's how you, I think you tell, you take that story and run with it. I don't want any royalties from it either. Who told you that? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not really. But uh, Sharif O'Gary, uh, obviously you can catch him again uh, this Friday night at Planet Hollywood, one of four uh, Las Vegans on the 9 dot card. And uh, best of luck with your future endeavors. Thank you, and, uh, thank you so much for coming yeah, in. And, uh, we look forward to uh, following your career, Sharif. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, Jimmy, like thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, appreciate thank it. Thanks. You can only get that on the number one rated sports show Monday through Friday, The Zone. Lance off today, eight seconds.